Hi, welcome. Uh, it's the seventh in the series of videos today, so let's call it Lucky Seven. Um, I think, I'm really hoping that this video could be the thing that makes the difference for you guys. I really hope so. Um, today, I'm, I'm going to try and bring all of the previous six videos together. Um, I also want to give you something a bit special, something to make it real, um, something that's going to make this happen for you, if, if it's going to happen for you. Um, in the last six videos, I taught you, or at least I talked about, uh, how to find, fix, rent, and then repeat your way to a property empire. A buy-to-let property portfolio of 5, 10, 15 properties. You know, serious numbers that are going to make a real difference to your life. Um, just recap and have a think about that for a minute. You're going to start with some cash, a capital pot, whatever that is. Um, you know, less if you've got mortgages, but let's say it's a hundred thousand pounds. I know significant sums of money. I know it could be less than that if you're uh, if you're using mortgages. But you buy a house for less than it's worth. You find it. You fix it up to create value. You rent it out to create a monthly profit and then you refinance to get that capital back out. And you're able to do that because you've bought it cheap and added value. You've got some equity in there, but you're not selling it, you're refinancing it. And we talked about how to do that. Once you've done that, you've still got, let's say you had the 100,000 pounds, you've still got most of that 100,000 pounds at that point, and you're able to buy properties number two, three, four, five. And that's really important. You don't sell the properties, each one you buy, you get to keep, but you've still got the money to go and buy others um, without having to save up deposits again. You're planting money seeds, and that's a really nice analogy, isn't it? Planting money seeds. It builds up, and pretty soon you, you can feel yourself pulling away financially um, from you know, you know, where, where, where you were, let's say that. Honestly, it's incredible that you and I can do this. Um, it puts you in charge of building a business uh, that serves you. It's something solid, reliable, tangible. It's always nice to be able to go and see your investment, isn't it? See your business, be in the property. Um, if you get it right, you should be in the lucky position of being able to design your life. That's a nice one. I call this the ultimate lifestyle business. Uh, and not lightly. Um, I'm not talking about, you know, I want a new sofa next week or I want to go to Barbados next year. It's not that. It's, it's bigger sort of life um, life design. You know, big, big choices are now possible. Um, and it takes time, you know, it's not next week, it's in the future, it's in the next two years, three years, five years, you know, retraining to do a job you love, perhaps, reducing your work hours, uh, traveling the world in a camper van, uh, easily paying your kids' education, making sure you have at least one week every month off, uh, starting a new business you love and, and, and believe in. All stuff I have seen done, I'm doing the last one myself. Um, now, I wonder if um, you've heard this statistic. It's a bit of a sad one, but over half of new businesses go bust in the first year. And then within 10 years, 90% of new businesses are no more. Building a property business is different. There are fewer perils, um, though it's not easy. You know, we've, we've covered that in the, last, in the last videos. It's not easy. However, because property is different, Failure is different, and I want to stress that. I, I think that um, if you start a visit business selling widgets and it doesn't work out, failure is clear cut. You don't sell enough widgets, you're out of business. With property, if you can't get past five or ten properties, if you feel out of control, if it makes you miserable, if it ties up all your time and, and doesn't give you the freedom, that is failure because it is possible. That, that, that is where you should be with property. Anyone can buy a few houses and do it badly and plenty of people do. Um, if you've got a good job or a business, you might even buy quite a few, but that's just a property bank account and a liability on us because if you're doing it wrong, you're putting your money into somewhere that you're not really confident it's gonna work. Buy, refurb, rent, refinance. Find, fix, rent, repeat find, fix, rent, repeat, find, fix, rent, repeat. You must do that with every single purchase to put yourself in control. Buy the right house in the right area, put the right renovation in, find the right tenant, put the right paperwork in, the right referencing, do the right long-term management. There's a few things that you've got to get your ducks in a row. It's not rocket science, but you don't want to mess up on any single one of those. It's not a matter of skimping on one or two, none of them. It's going to be laser all the way down. 
and then that is success. It is totally, totally possible um, to do that, uh, but very, very few landlords achieve it. It's sad to say. If you watch the videos, the previous six videos, you'll know it's not it's not a walk in the park. I've never said it is, and perhaps that's why a few people sort of reach that um, utopia, if that's what we want to call it. I think you need something else. I think you need a push, and that's what I'm going to try and give you today. Um, I'm really aware that the last six videos have been chock full of um, information. A lot of you have in, in, enjoyed that, and thanks for all the comments. Thank you. Uh, I'm also really aware it's a lot to take in. I can see people watching and re-watching these videos again. Thank you. If you haven't watched the previous videos, by the way, go back, watch them. There's a load of useful giveaways in the descriptions there. Subscribe, you'll get new videos automatically. Give us a few thumbs up here and there if you're liking it, it keeps us on the right track. Now, even though all those videos were absolutely jam-packed, I also know we've just scratched the surface. Each video has probably got a dozen or so things we can go into, and anybody knows me knows I can talk about property for, for, for days, if not weeks. So I'm gonna make a promise. I'm gonna give you that push. I'm gonna give the information, the how-tos, case studies, I'm going to bring other people in and interview them. Hopefully some other, some of you guys are going to be feeding back to me as well. It's all going to be available to you online. But I think you still need a little bit more because that won't be a push. It'll just be interesting to watch. Honestly, I doubt it'll inspire many of you to action. Um, if you're already in the mode of action, it might give you the information, but it's not going to give you that push. So I am going to make all those videos, uh, all those dozen or so points. I'm going, to, I'm going to do them, but as good as they are, most people are going to need more than a video tutorial uh, to gain real traction. I want to do something for you. I want to build a community of landlords committed to doing it well, uh, proud, happy, better. Um, I want it to be free, interactive. I want you to, uh, to give you the ability to ask questions directly and get them answered. Uh, and I'm going to be pushing you. Uh, I'm going to ask you challenging questions every month, you know, things like what's stopping you by the next house? Um, and then I'm going to answer what needs to be answered to get to get you, you over that hurdle, whatever it is. In fact, I've already started. I've, I've asked this question of one group of people. I've got about 20 of these already. I'm asking it now of you. I've got a way of you to respond. Um, I know this isn't for everyone, uh, but if it sounds like it's for you, um, the way you're going to get involved with this, click the link in the description. It'll take you to a special page on my website. You can put in your details. Uh, I'll know you've come from here. That's how it'll work. Uh, and on the same page, there'll be a box where you can ask a question. Um, and I'll do my best to answer. Um, I'll set it up so you can ask any property question you like. And I'll keep asking that question every month. You'll be able to get in touch. Um, every now and again, I'll put in an expert. So we'll bring other views. Um, because you're gonna need experts. In the last video, I said, you can't do this all by yourself. Don't even try. Um, if, if the aim of this one video is to pull all those strands together, honestly, I think it's more than I can do myself in one video. Um, you can get fine, fix, rent, repeat, working a few times, but you get the wrong broker, mortgage broker, solicitor, accountant, tax advisor. You can undo a lot of work very quickly with the stroke of a pen. Um, also, being a landlord can be a lonely business. Without a network, you can lose motivation or, you know, or worse, go blazing off without any uh, reference point, you know? As a community, I think we can fix that. We live in a cynical world, I know that. Everyone's hardwired to think, yeah, what's the catch? Uh, and I guess the question you might be thinking is, why is he doing that? Um, well, if you honestly, if you want to stand on the, the sidelines and observe, even to copy me, watch the videos, get all the free tools, download everything, feel free. Um, if you need a little bit more, um, we're going to offer more. We're going to get a community group together every now and again to create a kind of mastermind group. It'll all be free. There's nothing nothing to be paid for there. Because I know, and I've been totally straight with you guys, I know that 2% of all the people we ever speak to become clients. Um, no one in my business is ever pushy about that. There simply aren't enough houses to go around to be pushy about that. But the more landlords there are with more properties, the better we stand to do, um, but in a really nice, um, nice way. It's a, it's a nice way to build a business. Um, it's a nice way to meet those 2% of people. And if when we meet a 2 percenter, they've listened to me, somebody in my team, somebody I know, maybe somebody else in the community um, talk sense about property, we know we're probably on the same wavelength and that's, that's nice as well. Um, I'm sure other opportunities will come out of this as well on both sides. Get lots of like-minded people together uh, and it always does. So um, I've built my own property portfolio. 
I'm now building a very serious business for the landlords.com is a serious business but I'm building it for fun in a fun way and I think they are often maybe always the best kinds of business so I'll be honest I know the 2% of people I know my clients but I really don't know much about the other 98% so let's just start it and see go to the description in this video click on that link to take you to my website fill in your details ask me that question let's get started and I better get back on and I'm going to keep making these videos for you so also subscribe to the YouTube channel and the videos will come through and I'll be answering the questions on the YouTube videos so description to the website ask the question subscribe to YouTube you'll get the answer see you again soon